Dr. Will has invited me over to uh, be a witness to something that I have prayed about my whole life. I'm going to start off by telling you, first of all, my name is Jay Bowen. My native name is Clockadub. I'm a member of the Washington, Martin, Moses, Samson family, Upper Skagit. My family comes from Upper Skagit, Yakima, Wenatchee, Warm Springs, Swinomish, Lower Vancouver Island. There was a time, a long, long time ago, when my grandfather was having a ceremony, a very important ceremony, way up in the mountains in the Skagit Valley. And as he was dancing with his staff, out of the out of the light of the night came two young men. They were travelers, and they were exploring. And they were the first non-natives to the Skagit Valley. The first time that the two cultures met, what would that moment be like? My grandfather recognized it and sat the two men down in a place of honor around the fire and continued the ceremony. But he wanted to show them something. So I took his staff and drove it into the ground and motioned each one of the young men to come up and remove the staff from the ground. And imagine these young men just traveled across the country, across the ocean, up the valley, unknown areas. They were very fit. Neither one could lift up the staff up. My grandfather went over and he gently picked it up. And then he put it back in the ground and started moving back and forth. And he asked each one of the young men to come stop it. Each young man tried to get up there and stop it and each was thrown to the ground. And he gently went over, picked up the staff, and it stopped. The first explorers my grandfather was trying to talk to, they sent the wrong people. And since that day, this day had been waiting. If they had sent the scientists, if they had sent the physicians, the philosophers, the physicists, the great thinkers, our world today would be a very, very, very different world if they would have sent the right people. And today what's happened is the right people have been assembled. All these great thinkers here all these great ambitions, all these great goals have waited since the first moment my grandfather welcomed the first, what he called, the new people. I refer to them as the new people. It's a very wise title to give to the new people because you can't be derogative with it. What we have here today is two great cultures. I'm part of one great culture. You're part of another great culture. Lots of great cultures are represented here today. Some of you have followed Hippocrates, answered that calling. And for the last couple thousand years, there had been a calling to answer to that. That's what these young people may have answered to. In my family, we have answered the same call. And for eons, medicine had been part of my family and my tradition, waiting to share, never exclusionary. And this again is an example of bringing two great cultures together. We all have something in common, a choice 
Listen carefully. A choice with no choice. Which one of you today, today could walk away from medicine? And I know the answer. Not one. But it was a choice with no choice. Today, I'm recognizing an awakening, an official awakening of the powers that be, recognizing the strength of traditional native healing and the strength of Western medicine coming together for the common goal that each one of you hold in your heart. And today is the first time in the United States of America that that call has been recognized on a peer basis between the native healers and the Western healers as allies in a common goal. To be a part of this, remember this, you tell this story to your grandchildren and they'll tell it to their grandchildren because today something great has started. What's missing out today is CNN is not here. NBC, CBS. The White House has sent no emissary to recognize this. It's up to you to spread this information now that the native healers and the western healers have a common goal and our strength is each other. So once again, I want to thank you for welcoming me here. I want to thank you for me being a witness today. I want to honor each and every one of your dreams and recognize that you are the most important, powerful people in the world. Thank you.